1971, in East Sussex, England, there was a chef called Nigel McKenzie, and he worked at a restaurant called The Hungry Monk, and he invented this banoffee pie, banana toffee, banoffee. So anyways, they used for the base what they call digestive biscuits, and you can use those if you can find them, or you can use vanilla wafers. We're gonna use graham cracker crumbs because I happen to like those. So it's one and a quarter cups of the graham cracker crumbs, two tablespoons of sugar, a pinch oops, of cinnamon, that's okay, cinnamon's a good flavor, and five tablespoons of melted butter, and we're going to just wet these up. Okay. Now, I have a nine inch tart pan with a removable bottom. You can use a round one, you can use a regular pie plate, whichever you choose. I just happen to wanna do it in something different today. So I'm gonna put in my crumbs. Oops, let me see if they fit in there. Okay, and now I wanna get them up the side, so just take your time. In the meantime, my oven is heating at 350 degrees. And I'm going to, after I get this, the crumbs all pressed in, I'm going to bake this for about eight minutes. And then after the crust is baked, we will then let it cool completely before we fill it with our filling. And I'll show you how to do that later on. A few more crumbs. Oops. Okay, I'm getting decorated today with my crumbs. It's okay. Just try to make it as even as you can on the bottom and the side so you don't have one side that's thick and one side that's thin. Same thing with the bottom. You don't want to have it, you know, one thick side and one thin side. Just do the best you can. Some people also have made this with a regular pie crust. You can do that too and fill it up. I think it, the taste of the graham crackers in this is just really good though. Or well, the digestive biscuits if you choose to use those. Okay, now into the oven eight minutes, then we'll cool it completely and I'll come back and show you how to do the rest of it. Our banoffee crust is done, so I'm gonna put that off to the side, it's nice and cool. Now I'm gonna start with the filling. On a burner, I have one half cup or eight tablespoons of butter that I'm melting. And to that, I'm going to add two thirds cup of light brown sugar. Get it in there. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of light corn syrup. This is the toffee portion, of course, as you well guessed. And then I'm going to add one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Again, not evaporated milk, it's got to be sweetened condensed. Used in so many desserts. Stuff is delicious actually. Okay, now what we're gonna do is cook it on a low heat for a little bit until the sugar dissolves. Then after the sugar dissolves, I'm gonna bring it to a light boil, and a light boil, not a big boil, and I'm gonna cook it for about seven minutes until it starts getting, whoops, <laughs> until I spray myself, until it starts getting thicker and more like toffee. So let's just cook it now. So it's going to take me about seven to eight minutes to finish this.
while it's cooking, I'm going to get my banana base ready. This is the ban of the offie, <laughs> banoffee portion of it. So I'm going to take a banana, fairly ripe. I don't want a green banana. Get rid of those strings. Pretty banana. Yes, there's a trash can there. All right, I'm going to cut off the ends and now I'm just going to cut very thin pieces of banana. Let's just spread them all over the bottom. You could have chopped this into small pieces too if you didn't want to do slices. Up to you. No one's going to see these bananas, so it really doesn't matter, you know, if you chopped them or sliced them or how pretty they came out or whatever. Or if, like, I'm going to probably have to do half slices on that end. Looks like I'm going to have to break into a second banana, but that's okay because I don't mind. I like eating bananas. Hold my second banana. Again, tip the ends, and those are for me. Every once in a while, I'll keep an eye on this. It's starting to come to a boil, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because I don't want it erupting all over the place. Now this filling that I'm making is for a, a regular pie pan. So this is a much shorter pan, so it's probably not going to take all of the filling. And now I'll just watch this for a bit. So it's been about seven minutes and our mixture is getting much thicker and very toffee colored exactly the way we want it. And we're going to take it off the heat in just a moment and I'm gonna pour it over those bananas and then we have to let it sit until it cools completely. So here we go. And this pan took almost all of it. It might still take a little bit more. I just want to make sure that I'm not overflowing on it. No, that's about perfect. I've only got a couple of tablespoons left in there. If you do this, like I said, in a regular pie pan, it'll be perfect. So there we go. This has got to sit at room temperature and just cool completely. And then I'll show you how we finish it off. So let's finish off our banoffee pie. It's nice and cool now. It's been sitting out in room temperature for quite a while. I find one of the easiest ways to take the bottom of this pan off, this is the one with the removable bottom, is to put it over a can, and let it fall and say, ooh, it worked. Put it on a plate, get rid of these. Now we're gonna whip up some cream. So I have one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream which I'm going to whip to soft peaks. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar and then beat it up till stiff peaks. So let's go. Mm, just a bit 
more. Okay, I didn't want to take it to butter stage. So if I kept eating it, it would become butter. All right, now I have my bag with a, uh, with a tip on it, just a decorative tip. Again, you don't have to do this. You can just plop it all, you can just cover the whole top and kind of swirl it around. That's okay too. And I made some extra whipped cream because I want to be able to put it on the plate when I serve it. So here we go. I'm just gonna just gonna dab here and there. Just these nice big stars. And then I have some chopped chocolate, which I keep on hand all the time, just for decorating purposes or for munching. I love chocolate. Love it, love it, love it. Just decorate it any way you want. Now, if you were going to serve this right away, I would slice some bananas on top. Maybe do like every other one or something like that. I wouldn't do this if you're serving the pie later on because these bananas will turn dark and you don't want that. So just do that like if you're serving it right before dinner and bringing it out. And there, my friends, is a banoffee pie, your banana toffee pie.